In the northwest Croatia, there is a region called Hrvatsko Zagorje. In its southeastern part, between Maria Bistrica and Donja Stubica, the villages that developed the production of wooden children's toys settled on the picturesque slopes of Medvednica mountain. Some of the most important villages, where the majority of artisans still work, are Stubički and Bistrički Laz. The production of reeds called Žveglice in Hrvatsko Zagorje is still very alive. Master Ivan Mikuš has been making them with his skillful hands for years now. He is demonstrating the process of making the simplest reed called trumbeta, made of willow tree, which he shapes on a wooden bench, kusa, using a tool called obručnjak to shave and knives to cut and gouge wood. That way he creates the desired shape of the toy. He also makes other reed motifs, such as jedinka, a whistle with one pipe, dvojnica, a whistle with two pipes, bird, rooster, fish, hammer and violoncello. After cutting and making a little tab, the toy is shaped, but not finished. It is necessary to make pishcek, a mouthpiece without which the reed can't produce the required sound. Therefore, the master shapes wood precisely on the size of the little hole, which it must fit into. And, if not adjusted properly, the wind streams around, making the whistle unable to play. According to the words of Master Mikush, he has to blow in the reed after finishing it, thus giving it a soul and keeping the wood still alive, although cut down, based on the tradition that he has kept up. Dragutin and Barbara Mikush live in the same village. They make various motives of children's wooden toys. One of them, a butterfly or a bird, is very popular among the children and we can see how it's made now. Now, 
sad pete v okotače, in gore tak, da, da to može funkcionirati. A child rolls the wheels of the toy by pushing it with a long wooden stick, thus moving the wings which flap, clepecho, making noise. It is always painted red, yellow, or blue with multicolored patterns showcasing the creator's skill and imagination. When the toy is formed, the master gives it to his wife to be painted. The tradition of women painting toys is almost always a rule, except in the families where there aren't any women. Women also made various textile handicrafts, and they transferred those elements onto toys when painting. Each toy is different, since this method of work does not allow making two identical ones. One of the oldest masters who has been making children's toys for over a half of century is Dragutin Gerezi from village Bistrički Laz. According to his story, not only women have all the merit for the beauty of a toy from Zagorje, because of their painting. Designing motives, shaping and creating them is the responsibility of the master who models them. This master is very proud of his toys, since although there are set motives, such as children's furniture or transportation means, he has always introduced his own elements. He enlarged little beds for contemporary dolls, he added hay carts to horses and steering wheels to trams. Naturally, his wife's skillful hands completed their charm, but since she is not longer here, he did not give up, but continued working by also taking over her painting work. These masters are always glad to see children's happy faces, who, although swamped with industrial toys, react spontaneously and are delighted to have picturesque, traditional wooden toys of Hrvatsko Zagorje.